All right, as you can see from the title, uh, lesson video for Watch the World by Boxcar Racer. I'm going to try and cut to the chase on this one, see if uh, people like it better when I just shut the hell up. <laughs> um, it's got a few different parts to it. Most parts of the song, say like the intro, verse, the bridge, whatever, most of them have two different guitar parts playing at the same time. So I'll show um, the guitar parts for, for all of it and um, take it from there. The intro goes like this for guitar one. Um, those chords are pretty simple. Um, they're all octave chords, so it'll be like a two, a muted string, and then a four. And it's just these chords. Those are the only chords you're using. Um, the second guitar plays this. Um, it's pretty much just three different power chords and then it ends exactly the same as uh, guitar number one does. So um, it's pretty simple. It's just these chords. to the verse, um, guitar number one does this. Um, those chords are just a two on the A, a muted D, and then a four on the G, Like just like before. It's all, um, most of the song is octave chords, so they're not power chords, um, but it's octave, so it's a little softer. And it just, again, it's this. So for that last chord, you're going to have an open E. You're going to have to have uh, one of your fingers, say like your index finger, which is what I do, mute the A, and then a two on the D. Or, yeah, on the D, so. You don't want the uh, your index finger present down on the, the second string sounding like a power chord. And it just sounds a little too muddy for the song, but... Anyway, <clears throat> the second guitar for the verse, it's kind of a little hard to uh, interpret it, but the last two notes of it are, and it's an open B string, and then a two on the E. Um, what I usually do if I do decide to even play that part, since I usually play the first part, um, is you can play the root note of the, the four chords that he's playing, so it can go like this. It's really hard to hear it because the chords are the main part of the verse and they definitely take uh, a little more priority. It's a little hard to hear, the little picking part, but you can kind of um, mess around with it and try and do whatever you uh, whatever you feel like doing for it. Um, the chorus can be played a few different ways um, depending on how like heavy you want it to sound. You can play it how I like to play it, which is it starts off this chord. <laughs> which is a two on the A and a four on the D. And then you're holding down on the four on the D the whole time. So it goes uh, from this chord to this chord, which is a four on the E, a muted A, and a four on the D. And then it goes to a two on the E, a muted A, and a four on the D. So it goes like this. repeats a couple times if you want I mean you can always add like a little tail on the end of it so you can uh, hold down say like the four on the D and the four on the G the whole time so it'll sound a little um, more complex I guess you can say it'll sound like this <laughs> From the chorus, it, it plays over a couple times, um, and then it goes to this. And those are just three different chords. It's this, which is a 6 on the A and an 8 on the D. 
to a four on the E and a six on the A. And then it goes back to that first chord. And then it goes up to uh, a seven on the A and a nine on the D. So again, that's just this. Um, and then it goes into the, uh, I guess, the second part of the bridge, if if you even want to call it that. And there are two guitar parts for that as well. And one plays this. It's pretty simple, obviously. It's just a six on the A and a nine on the D, and then it moves a seven on the A and a nine on the D. So it goes from to this. Pretty simple. And then the second guitar plays this. And that's it just starts on a four on the G and a four on the D. And then the only other thing you're doing is just hitting a six on the G. pretty much the whole song um, everything else is just a repeat of what I said um, you can check out my cover online I do have a cover of this all I got to do to find it is go to my user page click on the right you can um, you can click like this little uh, search bar on the right and then just type in you know watch the world or box car racer you can definitely find it on there um, it's a lot easier than searching through almost 500 videos so just do that, or I'm sure it might even be in the related videos for this video. So um, thanks for watching, and I hope I did a good job for you guys. And um, keep watching my other videos. Thanks.